I am now officially, this is the day after I got home. And man, I'm, I'm, I'm a strange person when it comes to some stuff like vacationing. Like, you know, it's like, oh, I'm done with this trip. Duh, 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 duh. And then I get hyped for like the amount of work I'm going to get done the day after. Because usually if I have a, like, a day or two of like doing nothing, I just go hard on the next two days. I don't know why. It's just me. But, I mean, like, today, I'm like, I'm excited to get a live stream done and a video editing and this and that. And, you know, it's like, whoa. <laughs> whoa there, buddy. So, we'll see what I get done today. But, um, I'm excited. Tomorrow's going to be a big day because my Amazon stuff came in. And I got to take pictures of that. Like, as soon as that comes in, literally... Everything is second priority. Taking pictures of this stupid wooden computer computer monitor stand. Because the adventure that was getting this to be made and shipped and stuff, I learned so much. There were so many stupid mistakes I made, but I mean, it, it was an adventure. Like, mm, but it's finally here. It's freaking coming. Thank God. One of the. I only have 99 available because. One of them, one of them, it was like under the unfulfilled section. I'm like, what does this say? And it said damaged item and then said damaged warehouse. And I'm like, that means one thing. Someone dropped it. <laughs> and I, I just looked at it and laughed because I'm like, that's, that's funny, you know. So that'll be an adventure. But today is all of the in-between stuff. I guess, I guess Amazon is like the priority thing, right? Selling stuff on Facebook, selling stuff on eBay, even in a sense making YouTube videos right now is all collectively secondary priority to my job and um, selling my Amazon products. It's just, just the way it is. I mean, like, for instance, Amazon, I have... I already have around 1000 I want to say $1,300 invested in this thing. $1,350. It's an adventure, to say the least. It's an adventure. But if it does well, either, either way, if it does well or not well, it's good either way. But now it's on to the, what I would call the normal things which is live stream, video making, editing, um, eBay, Facebook, all that good stuff. An amazing Rainbow Six Seed stream. Went through one of these full of coffee. It's actually something that I uh, do is I drink coffee um, when I stream. It just, I don't know, to me it makes the energy get high. But it was lots of fun. I like streaming. I like making YouTube videos. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's, it's cool. But I like making YouTube videos ahead of time and giving myself the option to not stream every day because streaming every day sometimes can really suck. And having extra videos in case I don't want to stream is really nice. Really hyped right now because this, three thumbnails. I'll go to this one because this one's probably going to be released. But this is three thumbnails and it only took me 20 minutes. Like, this thumbnail right here would have used to taken me 30, 30 minutes for sure with, with this type of, you know, the angle right here and making that, that gold actually um, has a filter on it, has two filters on it. It would have taken me forever, I would have had to go up here, figure it out. So, now that the thumbnails are done, I'm just hyped. Today is a YouTube day for sure, but I gotta get to the editing editing of stuff, uploading and writing descriptions and all that stuff. And that stuff I actually find almost the same amount of fun as thumbnails because they're very... Thumbnails, you kind of have to play on psychology a little bit. Same thing with the descriptions and tags because of how um, SEO and metadata works. So I really like figuring out the psychology of people. It's very fascinating to me. I really like looking at my... kind of the 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 work that I do, uh, whether it's sales or video making. And I almost like critiquing it because I know that 
I'm going to get better later on at this point. Like, when I first started YouTube, my God, when I saw a mistake in a video, I was like, oh, my God. And then, like, now, like, uh, the vlog before this, vlog six, where I go on the ferry, like, there is an inherent, very inherent problem to me with that video. And that is it, like, completely, like, lacks storytelling. And it lacks, like, oh, I'm going on a ferry. And then the next spot. No film of whatever I did. I mean, like, literally I could have filmed, like, something. There were so many things I could have filmed, like, walking around in Seattle, right? Legit, I'm not even kidding. There was at least three minutes, I would say, of B-roll footage I could have shot. Like, 30-second montage of walking around Chinatown in Seattle. But I didn't do it. I just, I just didn't do it. Right? So, now I know, though, and I'm uploading that video because I want I to keep it on the channel. The only reason that video is getting uploaded is because I want it on the channel so that every once in a while I go through my videos, especially at the end of the year, and I'm like, oh, that vlog. I know what I did wrong with that vlog. And, and as kind of a reminder of, like, where I've come from, more or less... Right? And what's great about that specific thing is maybe I might be going to Seattle again next Saturday, which is dope. But it's like, now I learned this lesson that um, if I start a vlog by saying I'm going to go somewhere, that means that when I'm done wherever I'm at, that I need to film myself at the spot, right? So I'm going to Seattle then make sure that at some point there is footage of me in Seattle. And that's a good storytelling element, because what if I made a film? I just learned a lesson that could literally, literally be applied to a film. That could be applied to the series of, when I edit, like, Shivering Isles, right? The If I say I'm going to go to the cave, which I could have learned this lesson from Shivering Isles, but I didn't. I don't know why. If I go to the cave, the next... I sh there should be the cave. If I'm going to explain this piece of artwork behind me, explaining this piece of artwork should be there. I, I know nothing of this artwork. All I know is my grandma made it or something. I don't know. But it's like, it's a very important lesson. It's like watching back that video is like reading an opening paragraph and then a closing paragraph. It's hilarious. And I know that there's still content there anyways. I mean, it's still... If someone watches it, they're going to be like, hey, you went on the ferry. You know, that literally was a three-minute video of me being all hyped about the ferry and coming home and talking about how I saw my brother, right? It's still the vlog. And I, I really want that day because that trip was actually really cool. My brother, he's basically a, a mind of a 50-year-old in a 30-year-old body. It's great. But that's literally like the next... That Literally, that learning that lesson... And episode six impacts every single every single episode after that. And I think I think um, a lot of people like the fifth vlog I made, ten views, twelve views, whatever it's at. I don't even check. All I know is I checked one of them and it went from nineteen to twelve views. Like most people will quit after that. It's like this this vlog is telling my story. It's it's. The way I have it set up is it's telling my story. And I, I love that, by the way. I like telling my story of, like, where I came from. And I feel like, though, there's a greater thing behind this. And it's, I've been doing YouTube for three years. And through all of the knowledge I have collected over three years, it has culminated to this point of making... The vlog series, which is literally this project is by far my favorite project I've ever done on YouTube. And the Let's Plays, the live streams, the whole... Remember that time I had like a every day had a specific video? None of that. Not even... I paid someone $800 for three hours of their time to help me with thumbnails. Like give me a bunch of just personal tips. Not even that tops what's going on right now with this project. So 
I mean, it's crazy, man. Life is crazy. I am 100% glad that I took that break and thought up this project. That break, I was like, eh. Short term, my stats went down. Long term, I have my most greatest project I've ever made. So that's a that's a very... I'm also proud of myself that I did something like that where I took short term losses to get infinitely more in the long term. I'm, I've, I don't think I've done that too often and I'm really glad I did. So with that being said, that's going to be it for this, com this vlog. Finally, like I guess a complete story. And by the way, if you guys hear that hissing sound, that's cause my computer just finished editing the vlog of the incomplete fairy. And I was writing descriptions for videos and stuff and just thought I'd come up with this. So, I got more stuff to do, a bunch of work. Today is a content day by far. 100% a content day, and I'm happy. I realized that while I like selling things on eBay and I like selling things on Amazon, by far, like having a day of just creating content has been phenomenal for me. Great, I love it so much. This is, this is legit, now that I've figured out um, how I like to make money on the internet, man. It's it's great. And, you know, hopefully, eventually, YouTube, I could just make YouTube videos. Like, I don't care to have fucking, like, one million dollars a year, right? YouTube, honestly, like, I, I, I would like, you know, certain lifestyles, but, I mean, just chasing, ma making money, like, the sales way and the job way takes away time from YouTube. It takes away time for what I'm trying to do. And that is a very important distinction that needs to be made throughout literally the next five, ten years that I'm doing this. That I'm literally living life. That needs to be a very distinct distinction. So with that, guys, this is it for the vlog. What time is it, actually? Can I check? It's, tw it's only one o'clock and it's the end of the vlog. Um, so yeah. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, I suck just as bad as you do at vlogging, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog, god I said vlog so many times, of whatever I decide to make.